good oh, morning no, guys. I need tools. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Tuesday morning and we, cool. yeah, it's so cool. We're trying to warm up our car. Uh, we are headed to the barn. So we uh, chose our audiobook um, book of the month that we want to read with you guys, that we want to read together, and it is called Running with Sherman, and it's about a donkey, a rescue donkey. Running with Sherman by Christopher McDougall. A friend recommended it, and so we're gonna start it. We're gonna start today. We are going to listen to this book on our way to the barn and see if we can get into it, see if we love um, audiobooks, and we want you guys to read it along with us. So follow the link in the description box below to enjoy a free trial of audiobooks and read this book with us. It's dedicated to the three women who brought the joy and adventure into our lives, Mika, Maya, and Sophie. You need to put that there. Yeah, put it there. All right, are we ready? To achieve great things, sure. two things are needed. A sure. plan and not quite enough time. Leonard Bernstein. To achieve great things, you need a plan and not enough time. Sounds like my Chapter life. One. Chapter one. Shadow we'll see you guys at the barn. barn. Emptied up my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. I just watched Gabby go get Chino. She just walked like so. The boy saw us, Storm and Finn saw us that we're here and they walked to the gate and they're waiting for us. And then Storm put up his head and stared as Gabby got out of the car and walked to Chino. It literally broke my heart and they're still looking. Look at you guys. Uh, I don't know if you could see them. They're like, don't forget about us. We are your horses. My camera does not want to focus. Still good for the void. Oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. Oh boy. Hello. Mom, um, I told Finn that we're gonna go slow walking today because it's all icy. Yeah, good boy. Did he give you a big kiss? Oh, now look at who's jealous. You guys see it? Oh, he's turning away now. He knows. Chino. Chino. It is cold. Let's see if he'll come. Come on, handsome. Breakfast is over. Look at the cows. They're separated by one electric fence. Oh, look, a horseshoe. That's Lily. They're beautiful. Come on, Chino. Come on. Okay, stop. <laughs> they both came. Don't turn your back on Gidget. Thought I would have grown off the beaten track to become a better man, sinking in the sand. Oh. 
for tomorrow Never see the end of the night, but we sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? Alright, so we are at the barn today because Can you guys guess? Can you guess why we're here? To play with ponies and for Gabby to exercise. Gabby to <laughs> Look at them. Oh, they're like, wait, are you there, buddy? And Storm needs the farrier done. Yeah, so Storm's having Thanks. farrier visit. And Chino is, we, Fiona said we had to ride him four days a week for two weeks before he can go in a Walk lesson trot. program. Walk trot. So this so is this day is week day. two. I week better not change two. the rules on us. Week two, day two. It looks skinny under that blanket. She bought it a little big bad. so you could fit in it. it looks the, so this is the new halter. She's gonna get her, th she's gotta oil it and put the, put the name plate right there. Yeah, it fits that whole, it fits really nice there. I held it up there. Barrier was here last week, you guys might've saw, but so he does this crazy thing with Storm. He builds up, hit the back of his feet the back of his seat he but he he loads weird on his front feet when he lands he, he wears down his heels in a weird way just like a confirmation issue not something that's life or death or not something that's really bad but it wears down his heels and then I find he doesn't go as well as he does when he has good confirmation so we pay extra money and then the farrier like does all this magic work and builds it up he puts this this stuff in there to build it up so um, he came last time and he has to stay in like Stella had to stay in when she got her, her feet fixed. Um, so he stayed in for an hour after he got the feet stuff done. And we put we didn't ride and we put him back in the field and then we had like freezing cold weather. And when we came back three days later, it, he was lost one. So he has to come back and fix it. Oh, that's Patty. Patty's in there. All right, let's go. Patty's like, Patty, there's a friend right across from you. Do you not see him? Yeah, Chino's calm. So last night, uh oh, that was dangerous. So last night, um, they gave, Brandon gave Chino his grain before we came. That's why he was crazy in the cross ties. All right, Gabby, you gotta get him. Maybe bring him in for a few minutes. With them? Yeah. We expect you to act like civilized horses today. I don't know if this is right. Is it, is it safe to bring a horse in? When other horses aren't tied up? Oh, you be looking cute, Patty. I mean. Chino. Chino. I don't know if I should stand on this side of the door. Leave Gabby to the wolves. So Gabby's gonna ride Chino. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to you guys. There's Chicken Girl. I'm Chicken Girl number two. Like, I'm not afraid to admit that I'm afraid. Anyway, I like to bring them in. I like to change it up for them. I like to get them even when we're not gonna be riding them. Tomorrow, Gabby will ride two lessons. So Fiona said he's ready for constructive lessons again if you want to do. So she'll ride him twice a week in lessons and Finn, yeah. Okay, because you said she and I'm like Fiona? No, Fiona's not going to ride him. But you're going to ride. Other than Fiona, so how is she going to get up here? Yeah, that is far. But I'm pretty sure she's ridden a high horse before. <laughs> wait, wait, stand still because they want to roll. I like watching her. Oh, I don't actually like watching them roll because they always act crazy after. Finny, you love him. Be nice, Storm. Oh, he's like, I want to be the boss of you all. God, it's getting crazy. See when he gets all around. Okay, maybe we're done. Yeah.
don't know how much of that we filmed because I don't have a tripod here. What? What's the problem? Right here, I just see like a scab. You see a scab? Oh. Oh, that's awful. How did that happen? I don't know. I, I feel like on the it. fence. I feel like fences are like the most dangerous her troublesome for sometimes because they get itchy and scratch on them I hate when Gabby leaves me to babysit her horse I hate babysitting horses because you don't respect me I feel like you're not in the right spot dude Let's see oh goodness look at that crazy hair he still has good mane we can still pull it. He still has lots. You just have to put it over to the other side. Uh, where were you? Bathroom. Oh my gosh, you should tell me next time. The horse was freaking out the whole time. He's trying to use the wall to hide behind. Oh great, he pooped on the saddles. Um. Just joking. <laughs> that, whoa, that would have been disgusting if he actually had pooped on the saddles or ruined the saddles. Like, I can't manage him yet. What? Gabby just said, yeah, because he's an idiot. <laughs> what kind of idiot horse? Texas. He's worse than Tex? In terms of? This. <laughs> the crossed eyes. As you can see, he does not stand in the crossed eyes properly. He stands crooked, hiding behind the. It's only these ones. Though. Only hey. these ones? All right, let's never put him in these ones again. Yeah, we gotta find our way with him, you guys. It's just the way of the world. You have to stop being, stop being such an idiot. When we say idiot, we mean it in the kindest. No, we don't. <laughs> Shh, I'm trying to be kind, so all the people who who don't understand us don't take offense. He's a mouther. He mouths everything, and I'm worried his bit. <laughs> he, he is text number two. Of <laughs> <laughs> you have met your match. Text number two. Okay, so this is stressful. Okay, now stop. Listen. Everybody thinks that getting a new horse is fun and games, but it's not when they act like this. She's trying to adjust your saddle. Let's calm it down, okay? Let's be calm. Listen. Oh, he's mad. And this is what's been happening the last two rides. And it's because he has new friends in the field. That's all it is. And they're closer to him than us right now because they're with him 24 seven. And they're both mares. And you better not run me over because I'm standing directly in front of you. Take a step to the side. But I love your bridle, it is beautiful. I don't know what brand HDR is. Is it HDR? I don't know. It's super cute though. That was my phone and that was my watch. A lot of people are saying that they miss Chino and they want to see more of him. He's coming, you guys. She's going to start having lessons on Chino after this week. We'll work it out. He'll get used to us. We'll get used to him. At least you look pretty on him.
Okay, so we are headed home now. Whew, it's cold. Like, it's so cold. Gabby's going back. I don't know why. Oh. Oh. Doors open. Anyway, we are going to go someplace else. And to get there, I have to like brave traffic, like noontime traffic. And it's a scary thing for me, but I'm just gonna do it because it's the new improved me. I told you in January that I'm not gonna be scared. We are on chapter four of our book and we've been loving it. Chapter four is a little bit, it goes off track a little and tells the story of the guy's life, how he got to his farm. Kind of boring, but the rest of it is so good. All right, so. We headed over to baby Jack's house because Nana was gonna take care of him today when his dad went to work. But, baby Jack is sick. Yeah, that is the people. Say hi. Nah. Say hi. Say, I am sick, people. Say, I'm sick. He's, yeah, say, I have a fever. <sighs> yeah, not up there at the ceiling, it's in your head. On your head, do you know where your head is? He's like, I know where your necklace is. Say bye bye. So, anyways, his dad decided he's oh, he's gonna go to work late, and then his mom's gonna come home because because who wants to leave their baby when they're sick and grouchy? And he is kind of grouchy. Are you grouchy, Jack? Are you grouchy? Oh, oh he's always growling. <laughs> Say bye bye. <laughs> Aww. Where's daddy? 